In the vast, sun-baked landscapes of Australia, a quiet invasion unfolded, one that would forever alter the continent's ecological balance. It began with just 24 rabbits, released into the wild in 1859 by a landowner who thought they would make for good hunting. But what started as a seemingly harmless act soon spiralled into an ecological catastrophe. Within decades, rabbits had spread across the continent, their numbers exploding into the hundreds of millions. These small, unassuming creatures became agents of destruction, devouring vegetation, stripping the land bare, and driving native species to the brink. This catastrophe set the stage for a desperate quest for control, drawing both non-native and native predators into the fray. The Invasion A perfect storm Rabbits found in Australia a paradise with no natural predators, abundant food and ideal breeding conditions. With no checks on their population, they multiplied at an astonishing rate. A single pair of rabbits can produce dozens of offspring in a year, and their ability to burrow and adapt to harsh environments allowed them to colonize even the most arid regions. The consequences were devastating. Rabbits outcompeted native herbivores like kangaroos and wombats for food, leading to widespread starvation. Their voracious appetite for vegetation caused soil erosion, turning fertile land into barren dust bowls. Entire ecosystems collapsed under the weight of their numbers, and native species, already struggling with habitat loss and other threats, faced even greater pressures. By the early 20th century, rabbits were a national crisis. Farmers watched helplessly as their crops were devoured, while conservationists sounded the alarm about the irreversible damage being done to Australia's unique biodiversity. In the face of this ecological disaster, Australia turned to introduced predators in the hope they would curb the rabbit crisis. These predators, adept at hunting and with no natural enemies in their new environment, found fertile ground in Australia. Their mission was clear reduce the rabbit population and help restore ecological balance. However, the introduction of these predators came with unintended consequences, creating a complex web of challenges for Australia's fragile ecosystems. The European red fox, introduced to Australia in the 19th century, was one of the first predators enlisted in the fight against rabbits. Foxes are highly effective hunters, capable of significantly reducing rabbit numbers in certain areas. Their adaptability and cunning made them formidable opponents to the rabbit plague. However, their introduction proved to be a double-edged sword. While they preyed on rabbits, foxes also turned their attention to native wildlife, hunting small mammals, birds and reptiles. This unintended predation has had devastating effects on Australia's native species, many of which were already struggling to survive. Similarly, feral cats became an unexpected force in the battle against rabbits. Cats arrived in Australia with the first fleet in 1788, initially brought aboard ships as companions and pest controllers. Over time, however, these domesticated cats adapted to the wild, becoming feral and finding an abundant food source in the rabbit populations. Feral cats are versatile hunters, capable of thriving in almost any terrestrial habitat, from lush rainforests to arid deserts. Their impact on Australia's environment has been severe, particularly on small native animals. Feral cats are responsible for the extinction of several small native species and continue to threaten many others. Adding to the complexity, weasels and stoats were also introduced to bolster efforts against the rabbit plague. These small, agile predators quickly found a ready food supply in rabbits, but their impact extended far beyond their intended target. Like foxes and feral cats, weasels and stoats are adept hunters of small mammals and their presence has had dire consequences for native species. Ground-nesting birds and small marsupials, already vulnerable to habitat loss and predation by other invasive species, faced yet another threat. Stoats and weasels, with their ability to infiltrate burrows and nests, have contributed to the decline of native bird populations, particularly those that nest on the ground or in low shrubs. The use of introduced predators to combat the rabbit plague has been a story of both hope and caution. In stark contrast to the introduced predators that have complicated Australia's ecological landscape, the continent's native predators have evolved alongside its unique wildlife, playing a vital role in maintaining ecological balance. These natural hunters 
finely tuned to their environment over millennia, are now being recognized as key allies in the fight against the rabbit plague. The wedge-tailed eagle, Australia's largest bird of prey, stands as a symbol of nature's resilience. With their keen eyesight and powerful talons, these majestic raptors are formidable hunters capable of taking down both young and adult rabbits. Their ability to soar high above the landscape gives them a strategic advantage, allowing them to spot and swoop down on their prey with precision. By keeping rabbit populations in check, wedge-tailed eagles serve as a reminder of the critical role apex predators play in maintaining ecological balance. Equally vital to the ecosystem are dingoes, Australia's top terrestrial predator. These skilled hunters are adept at preying on rabbits, but their role extends far beyond rabbit control. Dingoes are natural regulators of invasive species, not just rabbits, but also foxes and feral cats. By keeping these invasive species in check, dingoes help protect native wildlife from further harm. Dingoes are not just hunters, they are guardians of Australia's ecological health. Adding to this cadre of native hunters are the quolls, carnivorous marsupials, like the eastern and spotted tail quoll. Agile and opportunistic, quolls are skilled predators of small to medium-sized mammals. While rabbits are not their primary food source, quolls will hunt them when available, contributing to population control efforts. These marsupials, though often overshadowed by their more notorious invasive counterparts, are essential to the long-term recovery of Australia's ecosystems. Their ability to adapt and thrive in diverse habitats makes them invaluable allies in the fight against the rabbit plague. Together, these native predators form a natural line of defense against the ecological havoc wrought by rabbits and other invasive species. While natural predators, both introduced and native, have played a crucial role in controlling rabbit populations, they are not a silver bullet. Rabbits reproduce at an astonishing rate and even the most effective predators can only slow their spread. To truly address the crisis, Australia has had to adopt a multi-pronged approach. Habitat restoration has been critical. Efforts to replant native vegetation and create rabbit-proof fencing have helped protect vulnerable ecosystems from further degradation. These measures not only limit the spread of rabbits, but also provide refuge for native species struggling to survive. Public awareness has played a key role in gaining support for conservation efforts. Educating landowners and the public about the importance of rabbit control and the value of native predators has been essential in fostering a collective commitment to restoring Australia's ecosystems. The rabbit plague is a cautionary tale of the unintended consequences of introducing non-native species into fragile ecosystems. It is a stark reminder of how human actions even those taken with the best intentions can have far-reaching and devastating effects. Yet, it is also a story of hope, a testament to the resilience of nature and the power of human ingenuity. By harnessing the strengths of both introduced and native predators, developing innovative control methods and working together, Australia is slowly reclaiming its landscapes from the grip of the rabbit. If you found this tale of ecological struggle and resilience compelling, stay tuned for more stories from the wild, where every creature, no matter how small, plays a role in the delicate balance of life. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more gripping wildlife tales.